Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black and the Philippines with the truth. I'm going to welcome you to my channel. All my triggers, peaches, lovers, haters, commenters, each and every one of you, I welcome you to my channel. Well, I'm close to my home in Rapapu Akandan. I'm not going to try to say it twice, but uh, uh, I'm close to home. And I'm at one of these roadside eateries. Now, there's something special about this one particular eatery because this is the place. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'll show it to you in a little bit. This is the place where I chose to put my bike up for sale. And the reason being is because right there, right there is a school. And um, this is a place where a lot of them come and eat, take their break, get their breakfast and what have you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause right here and kind of show you the, uh, um, the atmosphere here at this place okay so just hold on let me flip it around okay yeah uh, so as you can see uh, this, these apartment buildings came up rather fast uh, these are uh, rooms they're renting rooms here mostly for students because like I said right over the hump there there's a school now if you look here you can see this is the eatery here where a lot of people come and have their meals their breakfast the lunch and all that and as you can see it's on a very busy road. This is like the, um, like the um, cutoff mark from coming off of, I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. But it shoots down into Dumaguete, uh the new highway. Okay, let's walk in here and kind of see if we get somebody to say hello. Um, my boat dog, everybody. My boat dog. My boat dog. <laughs> my, my boat dog, amigo. How are you? Um, this is where, uh, as you see, they come and eat. We're going to take a closer look at the food, but this is the woman here who um, who owns this or who's working this way, who has or who's the boss of this place. So let's kind of get a close up at the food and you kind of see what people come. Oh, there's my bike. <laughs> uh, I'll show it to you on the other side. But let's kind of look and see what kind of food they have here. If I can slip in here for a second. Uh, we'll see more of the school over there. You see it up there. And you can see the bikes lining up. You know, to uh, get their morning start, the <laughs> morning meal. <laughs> so, uh, my bulldog, how, how are you? <laughs> my bulldog died. Okay. We're going to take a peek here. <laughs> let's, let's see. Uh, normally what you do is that you open the pots and kind of look inside that look like some type of salad or something like that and then you that's rice of course everybody knows rice and this is I don't want to move it but it looks like it's some type of meat thing oh no, she did oh this is your your hot dogs the hot dogs here taste kind of weird but they're okay and when you have your uh, salad your cabbage salad and under here you have, these are pork chops. I can see pork chops. These pork chops are very good. Sometimes they melt right off the bone. They taste so nice. And um, this is like a pork uh, pork salad of some sort. I don't know well, what's it called. What What is this called? Bakmin. Bak Bakmin. No, okay, that's what that is. Uh, and then you have... Um, and these things I don't eat because they, they choke the shit out of me when I eat them. And let me see what else we have. This is fish. The fish is low, which a lot of people eat a lot of fish here in the Philippines. And that's probably a fish soup. And as you can see, you go down the line, and that's also some type of soup too. As you go down the line, there's a lot of different varieties of food that you can eat. And this owner, oh, we're going to try to get her to say something. My boat dog died. Good morning. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Ah, hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, so what's your name? Gina. This is Gina. Gina is the one who who, who who let me park my bike here to be so we have a, a business arrangement worked out and it's pretty good. Uh, Gina, how long you been here? How many years? Three years she's been here. She's very established. I used to come out here and always wave and say hello to them, you know, um, from the road, of course. But, uh, okay. 
So Regina, are you married? How many children you have? Yes, How many children? Three. Three, okay. Are you from Dumaguete? Oh, yes, she is. Okay. We, we've had a lot of rain, huh, Gina? A lot of rain. Had a lot of rain, yes? Yeah. Yes. When the rain it comes, what they do is that they usually shut down the school the, or they don't, they don't really uh, set this up because as you see on top, it has like a canvas on top of it. And with the wind blowing as hard as it has, of course, it just blow right the, the roof off the whole thing. So, uh, so okay, Gina, thank you for letting me park my bike. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're going to stop right here. And you can see the traffic going by. And I like this. <laughs> Oh, Gina! 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 If you need me, call me, okay? Okay, okay, very good. Okay. So we're gonna walk back here this way. And then I can show you. Let me cross the street. Oh, there's the advertisement on the bike. Where it says, uh, 45,000 or best offer. Uh, best offer, <laughs> that, that term might throw a lot of people off. But uh, that's what I have on their best offer. Okay, so um, we're going to continue walking down here to show you how close I am to my home. This is the school I was telling you about. I don't know what kind of school it is, but those of you who come down this road here, uh, my home, you'll pass this school and it's the next right. So. Uh, that's why I live. So anyway, and also, also, down further, about three quarters of a mile, there's a left, a right that you make, and that takes you into more like a, a, a police training. And, uh, professional type training type of school that go there, especially for soldiers. Every now and then you would see them all, you know, jogging or walking back or after a day's workout. You know, so and sometimes their t-shirts would be white, but when they go home or walking on the road, they're all brown, as if they've all been rolling around in the mud. Let me flip this around. Ah, uh, hello darling, what are you doing? I just put that Okay, so you come visit. Come, why don't you come visit? Yeah, I just saw uh, some. Oh, no. I just walked by my. Okay, okay. I, just, uh, I am building my um, new bar zone. Oh, really? Uh, I just saw over there in the city limit. Okay, so come tell us about it. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, well, well. Oh, well. Wait, I just ran into one of my girlfriends. <laughs> tell everybody your name. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah, yeah. Yeah, Jonah, yeah, Jonah. She, she was the cook at Bogart that made yeah. terrific ribs. <laughs> Jonah, we got a new grill. Yeah, we have. This. We have a new grill, so you have to come cook my ribs oh, for me. Okay. 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 I'll get some ribs. Yeah. If I go now into the market, so I can let, me, let you know. Okay, so when you come visit us? Uh, ooh, Sun, Sundays, Sundays are good. Sundays are good. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, Sundays go to lunchtime. You come visit. Yeah. You remember where I live, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right? uh, yeah make it right right beside um Ron Guy Hall. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Juna, it's, it's good you. good seeing you, baby. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Long time, huh? Okay. <laughs> wow. Bye. That is one of the best cooks in Dumaguete. Wow. So yeah, so like I said, this is um a main drag here because it cuts down from um, I, I, I'm trying to remember that road what it's called but it's a road that you take and you shoot down here you see and this is um, 
a lot of the trucks use this route. Uh, as you, you can see, you know, uh, and we have a lot of truck depots down here. A lot of trucks that are carrying cargo and all that stuff pull into. Okay, so we're gonna continue walking down here and kind of get an idea. You can look at the traffic as you're going by. This is where. Uh, my boat back die. Good morning. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, you can see. Uh, you know, sometimes I sit up here on the top when I'm walking. I do my video up there. This is like that's at the end of this road, and it's full of activity. Good morning. It's full of activity. So, uh, I drone up. <laughs> you know, I know who she was, but sometimes my old man brain cells take a moment to kick in. So, you know, to get down. I remember her name. My mind was flashing through my index in my head. I knew I'd have it. I'm crazy about that girl. You know, Jonah is one of the girls that um, me and I have gotten to know. Uh, she's very nice and uh, very much a people person. And I'm glad to hear that she opened up. My both dog, good morning. <laughs> I'm glad to know that she was an empreneurial enough, <laughs> you know, to follow her dream and her goal and uh, opening up a bar, you know, so that's good. She's a very good host and I don't mind saying so. She hires the best girls, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, be the as bay. Okay. Um, I'm turning now. Uh, the school is right over there. And you come to the first right. And that's where I live. Ah, my boat dog! <laughs> uh, I guess he doesn't want to hit my camera. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, this tree here, and there was a sign there <laughs> that got blown down. Oh, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> um, no, that's not it. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, on the bottom of that where the grass is high, it cuts down. It says, um, uh, Boo Parankandan, a brown guy home. Okay, oh, I, I said it twice. <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay, so, wow, <laughs> he's puffed up there. <laughs> okay, so we're heading back home, which is a good thing. Uh, I'll get, do this video for you this morning. I, I finally finished my collage, which means I will be posting it soon. So look for that and see if you're in it, <laughs> okay? It's a combination of uh, friends, families, some of my high points, my photographs, my work in the industry, a lot of the people you'll know. But um, it's done, so I'm happy. I'm happy for that. Okay, this lot here is just. Oh, mm -hmm. oh they have a lot for sale. This is, a, this is the eatery here that, uh, that's good. It usually has a lot of customers. They seem to be closing it off now. Before it was kind of open, like the one we just interviewed. But, <laughs> but they're um, uh, closing it off. Uh, See some of the homes, some of the coconut trees. And this is the water plant, where well, we spoke about the water plant the other day. So you can get an idea, actually, for those of you who watch my video, know how close I am to home. You know. <sighs> yeah. 
alone. We spoke about this house numerous times, how fast it came up. And I actually did a progress report on the house. And a woman who lives there, I can't remember my name, not Vivian, not Lucy, it's named after one of those um, early Sincon female characters on those earlier shows. That's how often I remember names by associating, by associating them with something, with someone. My boy, Doug. See, this thing was, this thing in the back, we passed here a few days ago, and it was actually in the dirt. But you can see how they build it up rather quickly. You know, I spoke to Calvin last night. He called me like about, I don't know, about 11, 11 p.m. or something like that. And um, it just so happens I was up working on a computer. And uh, he, um, he had uh, his niece and her husband there. For those of you who uh, may remember, uh, this is it right here about them getting married. Once uh, the girl had gotten pregnant, the parents were Muslim and said, you have to marry them. And they got married within a matter of days once they found out that she was pregnant and converted her into Islam. So they were living with their parents, his parents, I think he's 18 or 19 years old or something like that. And she's in her twenties. And, uh, this is where my sponsor lives, one of them. And uh, for some reason now, uh, uh, although they have a house, uh, the girl's parents have a house uh, right next door to his. And the mother is away. So uh, they're living with Calvin now. And I'm trying to think, how did that happen? <laughs> what her parents, you know, say, so, ah, my boat dog, amigo. <laughs> Said probably, you know, okay, you played house enough, now get out. <laughs> so I spoke to him yesterday. He speaks very little English. And um, I asked if he worked. He said, yes. I said, where? He said, construction. <laughs> now, granted, there's a lot of construction going on <laughs> it's hard to prove or to prove if he's telling the truth or not you know so with that being said uh i just chalked it off and said yeah, yeah right construction so i told him i'll come by by 11 o'clock today while he's at work so we'll see if he's home then i know there's no construction my boat dog, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everybody? Booy pa, booy pa. Booy pa. Okay. As you can see, I am home. This is the Barangay Hall here. There's Malin. Mail it! Mail it! Uh, yeah, I am locked out. Of course, the bars there attached. When the first time she didn't run. <laughs> Say hello, Malin. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we are back home. There's Okimi coming to say hello. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Uh, no, Kimmy, stay down. Uh, there's Snow. Hello, Snow. Uh, there's Tigress. Uh, Luna. Celestina. And there's Helen. <laughs> there they all are. They're all here. Okay. So we're going inside. The TV's on. I'm cutting this off. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm home now. I had to cut the TV off. We're going to see what Mama Mia, beautiful Mia, is doing. Duchess! Duchess! Duchy! Hey! 
Oh, oh she's busy. <laughs> she's busy <laughs> opening up cabinets now. Oh, wait till you pass that age. We well, have to put latches on. Duchess! Hey, Duchess. Hello, Mia. How are you doing? Good. What are you doing? Oh, she's eating barangay soup. Hey! Hey! Yay! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> she's busy. All right. <laughs> Hello, Dutchess. Well, don't follow me. I might fall down the stairs. Oh, she got chairs there. Oh, she got you covered. Ah, oh, she grabbed the wire. Oh, Mia put chairs by the stairs, which is a good idea. Okay. No. no. Okay, thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines and Truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans. A winning action. <laughs> Never disrespect others for so out. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. Oh, wait. And the best you in your life is to live good. I'm living good today. Here, here. Hope you are too. <laughs> no, she wants my wire. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's that you got, Mia? No, oh, this is uh, like a pacifier with food in it. Uh, I hope uh, you are living good too. And if you're lucky, I'll have a woman like Ali Woodson formerly sing of the Temptation One song. Here, here, here. Right here. Here. Uh, here. Uh, <laughs> oh, she wants the camera. A treat on like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me. Make her feel like a king, and never say no. All right, ah, the old butt check. <laughs> I always love you more. Talk to you later. Peace.